Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to implement a save and load button for the game that we're building here called Minesweeper. So in previous tutorials we created a game that looks like this here. We can change all of the properties of our, of our cells. I can right click and choose a flag. So my flag in this one is a, is a gray item. Now the, the magic here and the new part is the save button. So let's say I put flags on everything on the top row and make a unique pattern here that will be easy to remember. So I've got this pattern here. So I'll save it. Okay, now when I push the save button I get a status message that said this is all of the properties of all the buttons. You can see that the first button is true, which is green, and it has a flag on it, which makes it a gray thing. And so that pattern there should be saved now. So let's close the app. And so we've lost the game now, apparently. It's, it's been lost to memory. And I'm going to restart it. All right, so let's get the right URL in there. So we've got button again. So we have randomness on our board again. Now I'm going to choose load. And it says the results are done here. Let's push, push return. And we're back. So it did save the results that I had from the previous game. So that's what we're going to try to build. Let's go take a peek at some of the things that are in this app. So let's close here. So a couple of things we're going to build first of all. Here is a database table called Games. So let's open it up, see what it is. So Games is a very simple database. It has a row called ID and a column called um, Game String. And you can see uh, we've got some properties that are here. So we're going to define that in a minute. Let's see what's in the database. So I'm going to right click and choose View Data. What did we put in our database? So we have a string which looks like a JSON object. So if I make that really wide, you can see that there's a whole bunch of games that have been saved and then all of the states that have just been shown on the screen. So that's what's being put in the data database. All right, so let's take a look around and see what's in this uh, project that's new. Let's go look in this folder called Utility and we'll find something called Game State DAO. And so game state DAO is a data access object. It has a method called uh, get game state. And let's see, let's close that down. And we have another method called save game state. And so it's working with this uh, new object called game state. Well, let's go see what that looks like. So game state is probably in the uh, models area. There it is, game state. And game state has two things. It has an ID number and it has a JSON string. So just like the database has an integer for the ID number and a string called a game state or something like that, game string, it's the same kind of data type. So an integer and a string. Let's go see what we did in the controller. So button controller. So the first thing we had was a constructor. Let's collapse that. Then we had the uh, index method. Let's collapse that. Last video, we created this uh, button click and on right button click. Let's see if we can collapse those. All right, so here's the new stuff. So we have a method called unsave. So that relates to the button that's going to be on the screen and on load. And we'll be coding this in just a minute. So let's get started with a step-by-step -step of how all of this is going to work. So I've reversed my project back to where it was at the beginning of the video. So there's no database or anything here. We're going to start from scratch. The first thing I want to do is find the database. So let's go to View and choose SQL Server Object Explorer. And so you should have a SQL Server here. So if you don't have this database, you can create one if you click on the project name or this button 2 and you choose Add Item and then you should choose Data and you can choose a SQL Server database. So you might have one already. If you don't, you can add one here. So I'm going to cancel because I already have one in this project. Let's go see what's in my database. So let's go open the first database and there's a tab called databases and test. And then we open up tables and we can see that I had something from other projects. I have products and users. So we're going to have to add a new database. So let's go and right click on tables and choose add a new table. So let's add some information. So the ID is already given to us. And then we're going to have something called game string as the second. And we need to give this thing a pretty big text field. So this is important. I'm, instead of using varchar or whatever else, I'm going to just pick text, which is almost like an unlimited amount of string, because these will be pretty long strings. 
Also, we're going to change the uh, this ID. We want this to be an auto increment thing. So if we come down into the properties and we have a section called identity specification. Now this is really annoying if you don't remember to do this. Identity specification means auto increment. So why do they call it that? I don't know, but let's say, let's open it up. And by default, it is not auto increment. It is not an identity. So let's change that from false to true. And now it says the identity seed. What's the first number it's gonna pick? One will be fine. So let's save it as that. Okay, so we got an ID and we have game string and not null text integer. It looks like it's all pretty good. So let's choose update. And it's going to update our database. And hopefully there's no errors. Okay, so now we have a new table called table. <laughs> Why did I ask for table? I don't want table. I want this thing to be renamed. So let's rename it as games. There we go. And it says, oh, you can't rename it. You have to complete the definition and close the window. Let's try again. Okay, let's click OK. Let's go ahead and change this to the word games. Games. And let's try update now. And try it again. Okay, so now we got games and we got table. Well, let's close this and then delete table. We don't need that one apparently. So I renamed it incorrectly. So the database now has games in it. Let's do a right click and check to see what data it has. So let's choose view data. And there is nothing there. So null and null. We're ready to start. 